Welcome to our lecture on line. Lines that are tangent to a circle have some unique properties. And so, with those unique properties, we can actually determine whether or not the line is actually tangent or not. So let's take a look. What is the definition of a tangent line? Well, a tangent line touches, and of course this is in respect to circles, if a line is tangent to a circle, then it touches a circle at one point and only one point. So there's only one point on the circle where the line passes through and no other points are crossed, are crossed by that line. What if, the, what if the line touches through two points? Well, then it's called a secant line, not a tangent line. So tangent line, one point only. So here we have an example. Let's say we have a circle and here we have a line from A to B and so how do we know that it's tangent? Well, it turns out that if we measure the distance from where it touches the circle to the center, let's say that's equal to 5, and then we measure the distance from the center to the end of the line over here, let's say that's 13, and then we measure the distance from B where it touches the, where it touches the circle down to where the end of the line is, and let's say that's 12, then using Pythagorean theorem we can say that 12 squared plus 5 squared should equal 13 squared because it is required that when a line is tangent to a circle that we can then connect that point to the center and the corner, the angle made by this line, which is supposedly tangent to the circle, and the radius, well that should be a 90 degree angle, a right angle. And that is by a part of the definition of when a line is tangent to a circle, it makes a 90 degree angle there. So, if segment AB from A to B is tangent to circle C, defined by the center of the circle right here, then the measure from A to B squared plus the measure from B to C squared must equal the measure from A to C squared. And so again, that's Pythagorean theorem, and that's how you know the line is tangent to the circle. So here we have two examples, and we need to, we need to determine whether or not the line here is tangent to the circle, and the line here is tangent to the circle. So they've given us the measures of the lines. This is 3, this is 4, this is 5. So we, we know the radius of the circle is, is 3. And so what we do here is we take 3 squared plus 4 squared, and that should equal the diagonal 5 squared. So that's, of course, question mark. And so we end up with 9 plus 16 equals 25, question mark. And the answer, of course, is yes, 25 does equal 25. So that's how we know the line here is tangent to the circle. We do the same over here. And again, we can say that 9 squared plus 7 squared should equal the diagonal, which is 14 squared. So that would be uh, 81 plus 49 question mark, is that equal to 196? And when we add these two together, that's 90, that's 130. Well, 130 is not equal to 196, so we can confident, confidently say that that line is not tangent to the circle. So it's a good thing to know in case you need to verify whether or not a line is tangent to a circle or not, and that is how it's done. Yeah, it has to pass through the center, so I should make, there's the center. A little off center, but it's the center. That's the center? <laughs> well, yeah, well. No, no, so there's no way to move that triangle anywhere that it would be a tangent? You can't scoot the triangle? If the requirement is that this angle must be 90 degrees, it cannot be done that angle will never be 90 degrees because this line is too long and you'll never get a 90 degree angle there. So that's not a 90 degree, okay. Yeah, so we can conclude. Wrong, like, with 90 degrees. Yeah, but that's unintentionally to try and fool you. <laughs> no, they do that sometimes in geometry books. They make it look like it should fit, it should work, but then when you work out the numbers, it doesn't. They do that a lot in geometry books. So well, the three, four, five is a right triangle. It's obvious, that's right. And that's how we do it. <laughs>